Books, your OS reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the Xiaomi Pro HD in your style headphones. These retail on Gearbest for under 25 bucks, which makes them a great value if you're looking for high res audio or high fidelity headphones that competes with much more expensive models. Now, the first thing I noticed when looking at the packaging here, there's actually a small subtext located at the back where you have some more details. And you see here it says one more design. And if you guys remember, one more is actually a manufacturer of fairly premium audiophile grade Euro phones and headphones and we've reviewed some of their triple driver and dual driver headsets in the past and we were very pleased with the sound and performance. So it seems like one more, which is specialized in sound, has teamed up with Xiaomi, which is already quite good at making consumer electronics, to deliver you know a high-res audio certified pair of earphones at a ridiculously low price. So high-res audio requires again more granularity in the sound and it's a certification passed by Sony uh, in Japan that uh, typically it means the headphones will be valued at around 100 or 200 dollars and for these to come in at under 25 bucks again is a ridiculously low price so we're gonna have to see if the performance holds up to the expectations so sliding the box open we have access to a acrylic protective case that stores your earphones when you're not using them and we see the same recurrent theme of one more design in conjunction with xiaomi on the top it's a nice little extra bonus and a little reminiscent of how Apple packaged their earlier earphones. Inside, there's also access to a documentation guide that uh, tells you more about the various controls, how to set it up. Uh, most of these are in both Chinese and in English, so it's fairly easy to use and uh, understand. There is an inline remote control with these earphones that allows you to both answer phone calls, since it has an integrated microphone, as well as to skip tracks and play pause your music. An additional extra included here is a soft carrying pouch, which is actually pretty nice. Uh, that's also stamped by one more, as you can see here. It's a microfiber cloth that uh, will also protect your earphones and clean them off when they're being stored if you don't want to use a hard shell carrying case. All right, so before we open up the earphones and take a closer look at the design, I'm going to mention some of the specifications. The range here is 20 to 40,000 hertz. That's extremely wide. The typical range for in-ear style headphones in this price category is only 20 to 20,000 hertz. This again gives you more detail and resolution in your sound. They weigh in at 17 grams, which is average for aluminum metallic earphones. Independence, it's 32 ohms, and it has a 1.25 meter long cable length. And it uses a standard 3.5 five millimeter plug, of course. So popping this open, right on top we have just the earphones stored in this kind of soft touch rubber case. And you can see that the earphones do have a 3.5 millimeter gold plated plug. And on the back you have a better idea of how the uh, tilted angle of roughly 120 degrees fits into your ear canals. Down below here we have access to six spare tips, which uh, allows you to get a more comfortable fit from extra small all the way up to large to again, lock in more sound. And now there's no comply memory foam included, but again, at this price point, it more than suffices. So let's take a closer look at the design of the earphones by kind of quickly unwinding them from the pouch. So the first thing that's obvious is that these are very premium in terms of the build. They have a unibody finish, which is constructed entirely out of this composite aluminum material. And you have the HD logo uh, kind of proudly stamped on the front of the earphones. You can see that the entire color is fairly sleek, but it's not overly flashy or too extravagant. And it fits into your ears quite comfortably because this outside protrusion catches ever so softly on the insides of your ears and prevents them from falling out. Although these aren't necessarily sports oriented earphones, they stayed in place quite well when I tried walking around and doing a little bit of light jogging. So it seems quite comfortable as far as the overall dynamics and the build. You can see that construction also has some plastic materials which are accented pretty well and they feel like they're fairly solidly screwed into the aluminum uh, parts. The wire itself is also fairly durable and constructed out of rubber. Although I would have preferred a flat ribbon wire design to prevent tangling, overall it works pretty well and it seems like a durable construction. The N9 remote control is made out of the same aluminum material as the earphones themselves. It feels rather premium and it's a little slippery to the touch, but the keys themselves are very tactile and responsive. The center key can be used to play pause your music as well as a long hold to answer or reject a phone call. And this works with both iOS and with Android. There's also skip track controls, which are easy to use when navigating through your favorite music tracks. You can see that there is a generic uh, splitter made out of rubber. And finally, at the end, there is the traditional kind of 3.5 
took me a 5 mil plug that uh, also seems reasonably durable as far as the construction is concerned. I have to say these are certified to be high-res audio by Sony for a reason. They absolutely live up to that expectation because sound is crystal clean and you can hear so much detail inside the music. Uh, overall, it produces a neutral, kind of a natural sound that isn't overly heavy on bass. Although, if you are listening to EDM music, the bass is still quite prominent. So it's very well balanced and regardless of if you're watching a movie or listening exclusively to CD quality or high Hi-fi quality recordings, I think you'll be very uh, impressed with the sound on here. Uh, I think that's uh, one more certainly did a job as far as coming in with the collaboration because the sound signature is similar to their uh, dual driver in-ear cell headphones that we've checked out in the past, but those are also twice as expensive as these. So Xiaomi also kind of subsidized the price uh, at the same time delivering equally impressive audio performance. So again, the granularity is the most impressive thing here. If you listen to tracks like uh, classical music, if you're listening to high-res audio certified tracks, um, you'll notice tons of detail in the sound from various instruments to layers of vocals. And again, it produces a very natural, soothing, rich sound that is hard to explain on paper. But again, they are definitely the best sounding in your headphones that I've reviewed for only 25 bucks. Because at this price point, you typically think, okay, they're just throw around and not so great earbuds, but uh, they're cheap. However, these again, sound outstanding for the price. Now, are they the best necessarily in your cell headphones I've ever reviewed? Perhaps not. And admittedly, even one more triple driver setup uh, packs a bit more of extra bass and retails for around 150 bucks. Uh, and again, this is just a fraction of that cost, but still offers extremely good sound. So. Regardless if you're of an audiophile looking to pick up a slightly less expensive pair to experiment with, or if you're looking for a upgrade from, you know, crappy in-ear cell headphones that are boxed for free with your smartphone, these are absolutely worth a closer look. Uh, overall, they feel nice, uh, they're comfortable to wear, they isolate a good amount of sound, and uh, again, most important thing is the audio quality here is outstanding. Um, as far as the ergonomics are concerned, again, I said that they were fairly lightweight, and that's true. I wore these for about three to four hours continuously and noticed very little strain. Uh, now, there isn't any super large rubber tips or rubber wings, so the metal here is actually a little slippery. And uh, if you are doing vigorous exercising or movements, it can accidentally slip out. Uh, I guess the only cons that I could find would have been, again, preferring a flat ribbon wire design as opposed to a traditional wire, just because it can still get tangled up if you're not cautious and simply stick them into your pocket as opposed to carefully rolling them up into the case and storing it that way. Uh, but regardless, it works quite well. The inline remote control didn't have any issues as far as testing it with Android and iOS. And the built-in microphone also did a nice job of picking up my voice when I did a sample test call. Now, it isn't a noise canceling mic. So if you're in really loud environments, near an airport, then it's not going to do quite as well. Same thing with the sound. It's isolating, but it's not active noise canceling, like most uh, high-res audio earbuds. So just some basic things to keep in mind. But again, if you do care about outstanding audio quality, and at the same time, you don't want to shout out a fortune to get a high-res audio certified pair of earbuds, then these are probably the only options that you have right now for this price. So thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been our video first look and a quick review of the Xiaomi in-ear style Pro HD earbuds. Absolutely worth the price uh, considering their sound and their overall build at this ridiculously low cost. You can check out more details in our upcoming article, which will be published soon. But for now, this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.